Welcome to another Indie Bros Heavy Bullets. Uh, back with me again are both Jimmy and Mark. Hello. Guys, welcome. What's up, guys? Welcome, welcome. Hey Heavy Bullets. So this Heavy is... Bro. We're, <laughs> still, we're still, we're still, still off of Bro Force. We're still over, over Bro Force. I had, to do, I had to do just that one. Okay, I won't, do, <laughs> I won't make any Bro puns this time. It's okay. All right, this is Heavy Bullets. Uh, I don't know much about it, but Mark, I believe you might know a little bit about it. So while you tell us... I'm yes. going to start the new game. So, so Heavy Bullets uh, is a dungeon crawling first person shooter. Okay. Um, and it was all developed with the exception of the sound by one person. So wow. it's pretty impressive what this. Ooh, uh, ooh, I like this. What Terry Vellman was able to do. So, okay. This so is bright. Let's shoot see. That. No, don't shoot that. Actually, I have six. I have five bullets right now. Yeah, yeah, that's that's one of the big things about this game is that you only start off with six bullets and you have a huge gun. Like, no item. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So all the all the levels here are procedurally generated. They're all random each time. So it's kind of a mix between a shooter and a little oh, bit. Of, oh, 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 poison! Oh, oh, get the. There you go. Damn. Oh no, I'm poisoned though. Wrecked him. Go. Wrecked him is what I said. <laughs> go. I'm almost out of bullets though. What Actually, do I do? look at that. You just you can, can you pick just... up the bullets like every time you get an enemy, and you can reload the gun. Like try reloading. R, like R. yeah. R. R. Bam. And you reload the each of the bullets. Do the bullet. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, so the right. So the hexagon with the chamber is your revolver chamber. Oh, baking. Oh, it's a little shop. And then the uh, the number. Oh, I wasted a bullet. No, you didn't. You picked it right back up. Oh. Yeah, Ooh. see that? See the, the bullet number next to your bullet is the number of bullets you have. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. There you go. That's cool. Okay, that's that, that's really like simple. I like that. Yeah, that's and that's the idea behind the name. Heavy Last bullets. Will. Because the bullets are huge What's and it? you can pick them up afterwards. Interesting. So. I just bought life insurance. Yeah, there's a couple different items that you can buy. Like every time that you die, you can sit. You can have some of the money that you've made left over. Like yeah, you see, you just got a few coins by taking care of that enemy. Uh, you can save up your money and put it towards life insurance in your bank. So after you die again, you can get some of your money afterwards to be able to get more items and proceed a little bit further. Interesting. So oh you, yeah. So yeah, you can get more bullets here. You can get bombs, all sorts of fun stuff. There you go. <laughs> okay, so I can see, like, just like speculating on what's going to happen later in the game, that by the fact that you can only have six bullets, like, active at a time. I imagine when, there's going to be some monsters that just disintegrate when you shoot them with bullets, so yeah. you lose bullets. I imagine that there's also going to be, like, times when there's going to be a lot more than just one enemy coming at you, and so you're going to have to, like, pick and choose what you want to shoot, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that the six bullet thing is what makes you really vulnerable. Oh, you can't just go around like a serious sand game and just wage bullet hell against everybody. You really have to be decisive. I'm gonna... oh! oh! Dang. Later, you man. really have to watch out. That's, that's another thing about this game. It's hard to really rush through it. It's one where like I play it usually sneaking around and going by very slowly because uh -huh. I know there are snakes in the grass and there's enemies around every corner and you don't know what you're gonna run into, so right, right. Well, I learned the hard way already. Yeah, I mean that. That's uh, that's the. I mean, dare I call it the roguelike? Because I know a lot of people don't like that name, but that's the roguelike for you. Yeah, procedurally generated. Um, you know, I think roguelike is a welcome term. I know it's not exactly accurate. Um, yeah, yeah, it's definitely. I know a lot of people say that uh, the term roguelike is a misname. I think you're going backwards right now. Yeah, because uh, like a lot of these games are nothing like Rogue. Like they're nothing like the game Rogue, which is what a Rogue like is supposed to be like. But I think it's settled enough into that niche to be able to like, whether it's a correct name or not, people know what it generally means. Yeah, exactly. It's like when you say Rogue like, there's a feeling that you get. Oh, oh, there's a turret. Yeah, the turret. And how you take out the turret is that that little box. You shoot that. There you go. Uh -huh. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Um. So. Question of the day, because mm. Alex usually does this. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, favorite roguelike. Oh, mother of balls. Do you guys have any favorite roguelikes that you really enjoy? Let us know. 
Mine would definitely, I mean, of course, like I, I know a lot of people are going to say Binding of Isaac. That is a, probably the prime example of a good roguelike. Uh, I really like the risk, risk of Rain. I don't know if you guys have ever played that. You know, I'm ashamed to admit I have not had a chance to play Risk of Rain yet. It looks really interesting. I really want to sit down and try that out eventually. It's it's really cool. Risk of Rain and FTL is another good one. What the? Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Gotta be careful, Gerard. Oh, I got scared. I got... Um, I'm dying. Actually, since since we're on the uh, since we're on question of the day, we forgot question of the day yesterday. Go back to the Bro Force video from Monday. <laughs> who's and your, your favorite bro? No, yes. your, your question of the day is who's your favorite? Who no? Who do you want to see in Bro Force? Make a good bro pun about their name and 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 put it in the comments. I would love like my one of my favorite movies of all time is Kill Bill. Oh, so man. maybe Kill Bro. Kill or Bro. The Broad because it's the bride. <laughs> the um, Broad. The Broad is so good. I like that. That'd be great. Um, I I want to see I want to see Jonathan Bro in the game. Jonathan, Jonathan bro. bro. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I think he'd be pretty zen. It'd be pretty great. <laughs> he just like hands you like a book. <laughs> Every time like that, he would just, just he would just raise his hand and the whole the whole screen would wipe clean it. <laughs> like all, all right, the enemies what is would this? just clear. It doesn't look like that a... is an item. Oh, oh. yeah, you just got <laughs> that doesn't look safe. Oh wait, no, I could just take it. I believe you can like go into the pause menu and see what item you have. I believe. There you go. Ooh. What's up? I would say headshot, but it's redundant since they're just heads. <laughs> uh, snake um, in the grass. So yeah, you? actually, ironically, very similar to Bro Force. This was made from first from a game jam. There was a first-person oh, really? shooter game jam that this was made from, Oof. and again, just like Bro Force, he wanted to expand on the idea, which is what you see right here. Oh, that was cool. Thank he, you. And again, he wanted to make a game that he he plays first-person shooters in a very specific way. Like mm -hmm. this is something where you have Mother to. Mother of God, I was sticking right <laughs> at it. <laughs> <laughs> if it was a snake, it would have bit you, Gerard. That's what my grandma always used to say to me when I find something in plain sight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a snake it would have bitten. Yeah. So anyway, what's the last sorry. will do? <laughs> Should I buy it? Uh, I'll buy it. Yeah, All right. Not? Well, it's Actually, last I don't, will. Oh, there you go. Last will. Passive, passive effect. effect. I think, again, you could go into the pause screen and see what it does. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, Or maybe not. Save money and items on death. Oh, there you go. Neat. Okay. Cool. So, so yeah, that's another neat thing that it really adds to the roguelike elements is that when you die, a lot of the stuff can be carried over and to be saved, <clears> so you can use it for a better round. So there's a great risk versus reward factor to that as well with this. So that's pretty cool. Um, uh, I uh, knew you were there. I saw you. <laughs> I saw you. The snakes are brutal, man. I know. Mastered the art of camouflage. But you yeah, just can't. I, just, I feel so... again. You can't really rush in this game. Mm, like even right. even opening doors. There could have been something like coming right out of the door right when you opened it. I would have been ready. And yeah, the scene <laughs> seems like more of a more of a classic FPS style. You know, yeah. something like like you would find in Half Life Two. Like a lot of right. like, like going through Ravenholm. You know, or you gotta like, kind of like take it really slow. Or even at Doom. Even yeah, even Doom. Definitely Doom. I, so. I mean, I can't imagine Doom being played slow because the only time I've seen it has been at at the GDQ marathons, <laughs> and that's just it's obviously played Oof. way too fast. Uh, but yeah, it's like the idea that he wanted to play where you're kind of sneaking around and being careful. That's how. Terry, the creator, uh, enjoys playing FPSs, and uh, he wanted to make a game that was like that. So that's uh, I, lo I love hearing that in general, like that the developer wanted to make a game that they wanted to play, because I think that br like naturally breeds. Oh, there you go. Game. Oh, oh, you got it. Oh. You're learning. You're becoming Learn. stronger. Level up. I am math. But yeah, it's like it's it's like <laughs> it's not something that they were assigned to by a company. It's right. something that this is the kind of game that they wanted to see made, so they went out and made it. Yeah, and, dude. and that's great. That's sweet. Oh yeah, the med bay. Here you go. So oh, you got more, heal more like items. The meh bay. The I meh. don't have enough am, am money I, for the meh bay. Am I right, Dev Two Thousand? The <laughs> meh bay. Sorry. I'm oh. not. Oh. That guy just stood there. That's he another great thing. Accepted it's like, his death. It's this game isn't ashamed <laughs> to be called a video game if that makes any sense. Oh yeah, no, of money, course. money, 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 it's money, money. It's like money. all the enemies burst out into coins and whatnot, and it's in this kind of world that's not based in reality at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. It it loves the fact that it's a video game, which is a nice little touch to see. Yeah, it's great. Things like. Uh, 
things like this, like, I mean, I've, I've got that feel from Thousand One Spikes, Oof. from Shovel Knight, oh, yeah. from, <laughs> uh, from Broforce, which we just played the other day. Um, yeah, things... I like that when the game embraces the fact that it's a game. Because, like, I mean, you hear the common complaint that, like... You hear the common complaint from, from guys like us, from, like, game reviewers like us, that say, like... Like, oh, FPS is trying to be all cinematic, or any game trying oh, to be, no. like, cinematic. Yeah. Like, stop being a movie, you are a game. Go home game, you're drunk. <laughs> and and I, I don't know, I, like, I stick by that. And when I see a game that embraces being a game, it's just, like, it's so much more fun. And I guess a lot of people are losing out on that idea of fun. I don't know, <laughs> you can go watch- Wait, what is this? Go watch George Weedman's video. Super oh, I'm mean, yeah. level! Oh, sweet. So, yeah, there's eight Woo! levels, and I, I know there's a boss at the very end of it. I'm not sure if there's a mid-boss. Uh, I, I haven't gotten that far in the game. From what the numbers look like, I don't know if you saw on numbers 4 and 8 were pink. I'm assuming that there's a boss on 4 and 8. I'm only assuming that as well. Ooh, so. tall grass. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> that is scary. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Pokemon reference. Oh, I thought it was Digimon. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. oh no. Later, man. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, a pill. A pill, I want you pill. Oh wait, it's a shop. Actually, you can probably heal with that. How? Or actually, no, you don't have enough. I'm out of money, monies. Mark. Don't no. make me. Don't make me get it. Gerard's oh, broke, hyped, dude. man. I'm broke, forced. <laughs> broke. Hey. Oh! 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 You oh. can do it. Yeah. yeah. What's up? 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 Boom! 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 Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> is that Terminator? Yeah. Is it? I don't know. The only song films. I know from Terminator is dun, 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 dun. It's the same song, so later is, part. Yeah, it's like different I, well, parts. I only know the drum part. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm starting to really dig this. It's yeah. very. I can see you're getting into it. You're getting a little more twitchy. Oh. Ooh, what's up? What's oh, up? What's watch up? Watch out for the turrets. Oh, oh, there's a cover oh, no, wow. no. Be careful, you only got four bullets. Oh. Thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Two bullets left. Oh! oh. 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 Alright guys, this was Heavy Bullets. Was I had a tight. blast playing it. Um, I believe it is available like Broforce. It is available now via yeah. early access. Yeah, it's available early access, and again, like with Broforce, it's pretty well along. It's very much playable yeah, right now. So, I, I mean, I, I said it last episode, and I'll say it again. I'm not an advocate of early access stuff. <laughs> not but this, many people are. <laughs> but this just seems more like a an open beta than anything else. Th this seems like a game that the developer is confident in and yeah. wants to put out there, as opposed to like a, like, uh, give me money so I can maybe finish my idea. <laughs> like, <laughs> like this seems like this is gonna get made and early access for, is for the people who want to support it as soon as possible. Definitely. Absolutely. So. Awesome. All right, guys, thanks again for being here. I appreciate it. Yes. Oh, yeah, no problem. All right, we'll see you, see you guys all on, on another day for another episode of Beard Bros. Later, Later man. man. Mm-hmm.